Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remap MIDI keypads or MIDI drum pads in Reaper. Now, the purpose of this video is if you have a USB device with MIDI pads, maybe using them for drums, you might want to remap them for the drum software you're using. Could be a device like this, or like this, or even a full MIDI drum set. And in this video, I'm using this one, which has 16 pads we can trigger different MIDI notes with. So let's go over how to do it with different software. Now, obviously, if you're using a USB MIDI keyboard like this, it doesn't matter. You can just hit different keys to trigger different notes. But with the MIDI pads, sometimes it's complicated to figure out how to change it with the hardware. So it can be easier to do it with software inside Reaper. So let's take a look. The first example, I use the drum machine Satala. Right here, which is a free plugin that works great in Reaper. And I set it up with some drum samples. Now, like I said, we could use our USB MIDI keyboard, which is down here, to trigger these notes. And by default, I'm pretty sure it's set up to be the white keys. But that's not going to work with my MIDI drum pads. as some of them are skipped or not in the place I want to use them. So we can go up here to this menu and go to MIDI map presets and we can change it from white keys to chromatic or use general MIDI, but that's still not perfect for my MIDI drum pads. So let's customize which pads trigger which notes. And we can do that in the same menu by choosing Edit MIDI Map MIDI Learn. And if we choose that, the notes show up in this blue color, letting us know we're in MIDI Learn mode. And we can just click which note we want to use. Let's start with the kick, and then hit the pad we want to trigger that note. For me, I'm going to use the second row of pads. So that We'll trigger the kick. We'll do the second one for the snare, for the hi hat, the open hat, the claps, and the splash. I can keep going if I want, but for this song, I just need these keys. So now we can turn off MIDI Learn right here, and it takes it out of MIDI Learn mode. Now we can trigger each MIDI note with the pads we prefer. And we could save this MIDI setup right in here, MIDI map presets, save current map, give it a name, and save it. Now, if we change it at some point, let's put it back to the default. We can go back to our preference right over here. And now we can use our preferred MIDI drum pads for these notes. So let's put down a drum part. Going to record on this track and we'll play along with some pre-recorded tracks. Now let's try it using a different plugin. On this track, I already set up some resampomatic 5000 
plugins to trigger the same samples. I set up one for the kick, for the snare, for the hi-hat, open hat, claps, and the splash. But by default, they're going to be triggered by any note we choose. But we could set it up to our custom notes like we did before. But instead of using MIDI Learn, make sure the track is in record, go to the first one, hit the key we want to use, and then just double click this button, which changes the note start and note end to that key. And just do the same with each. With our snare, hit the key we want to use, double click over here, go to the hat and do the same. The open hat, the claps, and the splash. And now each note is going to be triggered by the drum pads we chose. So again, we could put down the same part, but this time triggered with Resample Matic 5000 using different plugins for each note. Again, we triggered each drum with the MIDI keypad we chose. Let's try it again with this track, where I'm using the free version of Stephen Slate drums. Now this kit sounds more real, but we can still trigger it the same way. But by default, the notes are already set up, so I can't use the MIDI drum pads I want to. We have a kick. I wanted to use this one and snare and so on. But again, we could change it in the software. For this, we can go to the map and we can see all the notes we can choose over here. And they can be changed using MIDI Learn over here. So let's find our kick and let's trigger it by hitting MIDI Learn, hitting the MIDI drum pad we want to use. And now it's triggered by that. Let's do the same for the snare, MIDI learn, hit the second pad, and for the hi-hat, MIDI learn, third pad. Let's find an open hat. Let's try this one. MIDI learn, hit the fourth pad. And there's no claps in this plugin. We can use a China symbol instead. Let's go over here and find the China Edge, and we can use that instead of our claps. MIDI Learn, hit the MIDI drum pad we want to use, and that's going to trigger that note. And then finally, we want to splash. Let's scroll up to this one, MIDI Learn, hit the drum pad, and now we're ready to play our part. And again, we could save our preset and load it later if we need to. But for now, let's just record this part, which should sound different with more real sounding drums, but we're still gonna program the same part. So again, we customized each drum software so we could trigger it with the MIDI pads or MIDI drum pads 
we wanted to use. So that's pretty much it. That's how to remap MIDI keypads or MIDI drum pads in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.